So hi, my name is Tony Pellegrini. I'm a fourth year uh, construction management graduating this spring. Yeah, so the, the purpose of, of, our, of our actual project is kind of just to have for the bikers and the hikers and the people that come up here to enjoy the canyon, just to have a, a place to sit and kind of soak it all in. You know, all these structures, you know, they're they're aesthetically awesome, um, but they don't really have a place for people to sit and kind of take in the hills, take in the, you know, the view. So that's kind of what our goal of this project is, to uh, give them a place to rest. And I knew I wanted to do something that kind of left a mark. Um, I was kind of having trouble figuring out what that may be. I knew I wanted to do project based and I really thought CDN project should be you know a display of your four years that you've learned um, in college and I think that this project really kind of um, encompasses those the four years of learning. Hi my name is Harrison Woods. I'm a fourth year construction management student that will be graduating this spring of 2019. So this project originally got started by being designed as a senior project by two architectural engineers and they, they didn't have all the fundraising and so there was kind of talks that maybe it was going to fall through and so overhearing this conversation, hey if this project you know doesn't work out, you don't get it built, I would love to take it over so you're kinda, your, your visions, your dreams, your design doesn't just fade away and get forgotten about. I jumped right on board, I reached out to Tony and so we already knew we worked really well together, hey Tony you know, potentially going to build something out in Poly Canyon. Are you interested? Of course, Tony was interested. So it's been about seven or eight weeks now, give or take, and uh, and you know we're really moving along, hoping to get it all done before graduation. From the beginning, we knew that fundraising was going to be a huge obstacle for us. When when we first started fundraising, you know, we didn't really have anything. We had a Facebook page, but no pictures to show. It was kind of slow, and so we were definitely worrying. You know, are we going to be able to? To get this done, you know, we, we, we're students, we don't have the money to pay for it. We're not short a couple hundred, we're short a couple thousands of dollars where we reached out and, and we, we spent a couple days trying to contact people and found people in the CAD who deal with uh, donors and a lady named Jessica and she helped us out a lot. So kind of when we found Jessica and found out that she could have all these contacts, we kind of started to think, all right, you know, actually we were able to push through this hurdle and, and you know, we're, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come together. But, but I think that something that even elevated that uh, fundraising success was that we actually came out here and started working. We started clearing the site, we started digging. We didn't have the money yet, but we were kind of just gambling on, hey, we, we need to do this with the thought in the back of our minds, hey, if people start seeing this, we start posting updates on the Facebook, maybe fundraising will start to kind of catch, some, get some traction, you know, get some speed, and, uh, and that's exactly what happened, luckily. We're doing a lot of things out here for the first time. We may have knowledge in the area and may have done similar things to it, but we haven't, you know, we haven't built stairs before, but, you know, we've seen videos or we've seen people, you know, we understand how it's supposed to happen, but we've never built them on a grade or something like that. You know, things, things of those natures where we, where we have experience in it, but haven't done it for, haven't done it actually ourselves in this, the exact way. I think it's been the most challenging times because we're running into those situations so often. The way that we do it the first time, um, because a lot of the tasks here are repeat processes. You know, by the time we're doing it the fourth time, it's completely different. It's a lot faster. It's a lot more efficient. Ten problems a day. You know, every every ten minutes, we we run into something. We figure it out. It's frustrating at times. But uh, but there was one day that we were walking away from the site. I'm like, look what we did today. You know, we we made so much progress. Look what we did in the last week. I was like, wow, like, we're doing this. And so that was really you know a moment where I was like, hey, we're gonna get this done. That that was definitely a high when we. I was able to look at just what we did seven days and that really got washed away some of the worries we had of oh you know we only have a month left but hey if we can do this in seven days we can get the rest of the project done in a month. If I could say anything regarding senior projects to new CMs uh, it would be get involved in the major itself and through that you'll you'll meet connections you'll over like us you'll overhear a conversation you'll get with the right person with the right partner and uh, and you'll be able to do some really really cool things really incredible things if you're if you're really passionate about it don't get discouraged you know keep keep going if you have a passion you have a goal you'll you'll figure out a way to reach it we'll form up the stairs and hopefully you know wash our hands clean up and, and we'll be ready to, to party you know, right before graduation bring bring out all of our friends that helped out you know family members that donated we're gonna invite some of the some of the companies that were able to help us out with material donations and whatnot and you know enjoy the enjoy the scenery and enjoy what this deck was built for uh, all together so that would be really exciting after we're done and the actual structure itself is complete we're gonna be um, we've designed a project plaque to honor um, like Harrison mentioned the donors the contributors um, the volunteers um, the companies that helped make this project come to fruition and it's really time to party after that <laughs>